The MACD is a standard indicator most traders are familiar with, but few know how to use effectively. In this video, Garrett Drynan, a senior trader on our desk, after diligent study and research on MACD, stumbled across an effective and profitable way to use it. This trader discovered a well-known market wizard who customized the MACD and made so much money from it that she's become known as the MACD trading genius. In this video, we'll teach you her exact custom parameters and the strategy she uses. I'm Mike Bellafuri, and we're one of the top proprietary trading firms located in New York City and proud to develop numerous seven and even eight figure per year traders. Watch, take notes, and learn from a professional trader on our desk so you can grow your trading account. This is Garrett on the New York City desk, and today we're gonna break down a unique setup that utilizes the MACD indicator. It uses custom parameter settings, and this is a very specific market pattern that a market wizard has used for decades. I've gathered all the information I can on this setup, and I'm going to present it here. So by the end of the video, you'll be able to understand the setup and decide whether it's something that could make sense for you in your own trading. So one of our jobs as a trader is always to be doing research so that we're improving. It's imperative that we have this really strong foundation as a trader and this breadth of knowledge as a trader because that's really what helps us spur ideas which lead to edge. So maybe they don't happen right now. Maybe they will in the future. Maybe they don't happen in this market, but maybe they will in another. Maybe they won't be with just me. Maybe they'll be with me in a collaboration with somebody else. Maybe they won't be with discretionary trading. Maybe it's going to be something in hybrid or automated trading, right? Maybe it's gonna be an overlay on a strategy that I can make better. I've always been interested in how to use the MACD to help with my trading, but I haven't yet figured out a way to incorporate it for me on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. I just don't use it. So I don't have it on my charts and I don't have it as a feature in any of my models. But I recognize that there are people that are using this effectively and I recognize this is something I can learn more about and perhaps in the future use it as a quiver or a tool in my toolkit. So one of the traders that I respect greatly is market wizard Linda Rajke. And I studied how she makes money using the MACD. I love how Linda has been able to adapt every single market evolution she's encountered through multiple decades. So from trading options in futures in the pit, to moving upstairs, doing it from a computer, using algorithms, systematic trading rules. She's really done it all and done it all really well. And she's also a great educator and storyteller, always willing to share experiences. So her interview in Market Wizard's book is great. I've attended some of her webinars, which are great. Her book, Trading Sardines, is fantastic. So as a trader, the best place to start often is to find people who make money and learn how they're making money and test whether or not this can work for you. So let's try to do that here. So first, let's quickly break down the MACD so we know what it's measuring. And then we'll get into how Linda uses it to crush these trend reversals that she's trading. So the MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It's a momentum oscillator. It takes two moving averages and measures the difference between them. So there are two lines, the MACD line and the signal line. And that's a lot of stuff going on on the chart. And I recognize that. If you don't get it right away, that's OK. Let's break down each line really quickly. And, and you'll see that this stuff is actually pretty simple. So the MACD line is our main plot. It's plotted by subtracting the longer moving average from the shorter one. It fluctuates above and below zero as the moving average converges, crosses, and diverge from each other. So here's a chart where we've isolated the MACD line below. And on the price chart, we're showing the two moving averages that it's using in its calculation. Now let's add the signal line back in. The signal line is a moving average of the MACD line. And sometimes there's a histogram. And the histogram measures the distance between the MACD line and the signal line. So let's add that back in. All right, so 
These are the typical settings. The fast moving average length at 12, the slow moving average length at 26, the signal line length at nine, and it uses exponential moving averages. Okay, so to be honest, these settings make zero sense to me. Um, you know, maybe I'm missing something, I didn't create it, maybe this is great, but those numbers don't have any significance. So today we're gonna customize these settings and we're gonna get rid of the histogram because we're gonna study how Linda uses it. So, so how does Linda use it? Linda calls this her 310 oscillator. So on this chart is Linda's 310 oscillator, which is a MACD set to these parameters. Okay, so the fast moving average length is three, slow moving average length is 10, and the signal line length is 16, and she uses a simple moving average. She does not use the histogram, so we're not gonna use that. So in this chart, the MACD line is the purple line and the signal line is the green line, right? So this looks way different. Very, very different than the custom settings on a MACD. And I know that as a process, Linda rigorously tests her tools, so I wouldn't be surprised if, if she's tested these settings as well. So um, she uses this indicator signal for a setup called the ANTI, okay? And this is because the reason it's called this is because the anti signal happens when, after a new momentum high or low, the MACD line reverts and goes against the signal line, right? So that's what's happening in the indicator when this is setting up. But let's simplify this for a second because this is really a price action setup and this is very simple and something we can identify with our eyes. All right, so here's an example from Adam Grimes who talks a lot about this setup in his book, The Art and Science of Technical Analysis, which is a great resource, by the way, for price action and market structure and technical analysis. So we can see on this chart, and you can pause it right now, like if you wanna read what he has to say about it, you can pause it and read that. So you can see on this chart that we have a sharp momentum break after a big run to the upside. And after the momentum break, we get a pullback. The idea, is that this is the first pullback in a new trend. So it's a bear flag, in this case, after the break. So here's another example in Roku. And look, I'm pulling from Adam's blog because this is me doing research. I read his book. I know he trades this setup. I knew there'd be some great examples to draw from on his blog. So this is a very specific price action setup, and it seems that the MACD is very good at picking up on this signal. So recently, Linda's tweeted out a few examples of the anti pattern. The first chart that she posted is of the euro, and the second is of the dollar. And you can see that she circled the anti on the dollar example. And these two trades are similar. They're going to move in opposite directions of each other because one is the euro and one is the dollar, right? So. So to me, at this point in my research, I'm thinking this is a backside setup for me. That's the connection I'm making, right? So either long or short, we're looking for a break against the trend, a break of momentum, and then a pullback. So we're really looking for the first pullback and a new trend. And what I love about this most of all is that it, it kind of teaches us that we don't have to nail the top or bottom on these kinds of trades. We have a very specific setup that allows us to catch the move while waiting for the right side of the V, which, as I always mention, is a great term coined by Lance, and he has videos about this on our channel that you can check out. So I went ahead and put the indicator on my chart and looked at some examples. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, but generally, and I think most of the time, the, ind the indicator did a good job of signaling this price action setup. So what did I look for? Uh, I looked for a new counter trend momentum, high or low in the MACD. I looked for the signal line to slope in the direction of the new trend and the MACD line to revert back to the signal line, both going in opposite directions. And for me, if I'm gonna trade this setup, maybe I'm using the indicator as an alert for this setup. Maybe the MACD helps me screen for these setups, and then I can look closer at the price action for a trigger, a turn, whether I want to take it or not. Maybe the MACD is a part of a model where I'm screening for very extended names and then a MACD signal, an anti-signal for the price action I want to see 
and then some sort of trigger. So let's look at some charts. And we'll start with some higher time frame stuff, and then we'll, we'll get into some lower time frame stuff after that. So here we have the TLT monthly chart, and I have the anti pattern highlighted in pink. And you can see how very clearly the MACD line, after making a new momentum low, and you can see in the price action that we get a break against the trend, the MACD line comes back up, and now the signal line is sloping down, and the MACD comes up and goes against the signal line. So that's the anti pattern in the indicator. And on the price chart, what we're seeing is a weak pullback, basically a lower high, right? A consolidation where we're going to think about a short trade, a continuation trade. And, and in this example, it worked. And we'll go to another one. Here's a long setup in the QQQ on the weekly chart. Same thing, right? We get, a, we get an upside break against the trend and then a pullback consolidation where we're seeing an ante in the indicator. Okay, and this one worked nicely as well. Here's a Tesla example, and this one didn't work, right? We get, a, we get a break against the trend, a downside break, a new momentum low in the indicator, comes back up, we get the anti pattern, but price holds. And this actually turned into a tremendous long, right? I don't know who, those of you who remember maybe a few years ago, this was a great long trade. So here's one that didn't work. And I'm kind of noting as well as we see this that you know, when this really, when this doesn't work, maybe it does end up setting up a good long trade. Who knows? All right, so here's TLT on the daily chart. This one worked as well, right? The first pullback consolidation in a new uptrend. We get the anti pattern in the indicator. Okay, here's SMCI on the daily chart. This one didn't work. Okay, this was an earnings report actually. So the earnings caused a break against the trend. We get that new momentum low in the indicator, and then we get that reversion where the MACD line comes up and goes against the downward sloping signal line. Okay, and now price holds, and it actually went sideways for a very long time, and now we're kind of looking at SMCI potentially breaking out, right? So again, when price holds, it seems to signify perhaps a very strong stock. All right, so let's go into some lower time frames, and what I did was I went over my playbook and looked for some backside trades and stuff like that, and just went back to the charts just to see if the anti pattern was showing up in these playbooks that I had already outlined, right? These are trades that I've already outlined as valid backside trades for different reasons. But I'm interested to see if there was an anti pattern in the indicator, because again, maybe this is something I can use for an alert or in a model or something like that, right? And so here we have Mara. This was pretty recently, and, and I think Jeff gave a good talk the other day about this, which was really interesting. But we get a massive uptrend, right? A lot of people would think maybe this is overextended at some point, and we get that break against the trend, right? We get that new momentum low in the indicator, and then the MACD line comes back up, goes against the signal line, which is now downward sloping, and we get a beautiful consolidation, right? We get price holding lower, we get a very clear level to short the break of in a very clear stop against that high. And so for me, you know, I can see it in the price action, but I might like to use the indicator as an alert, like I said, or, or put it in a model. And it's kind of nice to see that a trade that I've already established as something that was valid was also picked up by this anti pattern. So here's Riot on a 30 minute chart and same thing, right? New momentum low, we get a break against the trend and we get a consolidation. And what I like too is a lot of these charts look very similar. All right, so here's NERV on a one minute. So here's, here's the lowest time frame we're gonna look at. This is an intraday anti pattern, which is something I'm very interested in, right? Because I trade a lot of intraday stuff as well. And this one's very clear to me, right? We get a huge parabolic move, right? A new momentum high even. And then swiftly and hard, we get a new momentum low. We get a break against that upside momentum, and then we get the reversion. And what I like about this one is on the reversion, when you get that anti pattern in the indicator, the bounce in price is very, very weak, right? And so to me, that's even better. So like, I'm still gonna be wanting to look at the chart. I'm still gonna be wanting to put this indicator signal in context. But what I like about this one is how weak that bounce is. 
So I'm going to keep testing. I'm going to keep playing around with this. If I find something, I'm going to come back to you guys. I'm curious about this setup, if it's something I can incorporate into my own trading. So if you make money using the MACD, leave a comment. Let us know what you're doing. Um, you, can, you can follow me on Twitter at Garrett Drynan. I post a lot of code for these indicators that I'm using, and among other things. Thanks. So you're an active trader, not doing as well as you want, not doing as well as you deserve, and you just can't figure out why you can't become profitable no matter how hard you try. Well, let me show you why. This is your competition, the traders in this room. This room right here is full of elite traders, some of whom are making seven and even eight figures a year. In fact, our top guys have made nearly 20 million each in net trading profits in a single year. Let's head to my office so I can share more. So you're probably used to seeing videos of lavish trader lifestyles, trading gurus, trading off of a laptop for an hour a day, heck, maybe even 15 minutes a day and then them relaxing on some secluded beach for the rest of the day. Well, all I can tell you is that our traders train like pro athletes. They live and breathe the markets and are continually working on their trading skills because at our firm, that's what we found it really takes to make it in this game. I'm Mike Bellafiori, co-founder and managing partner of SMB Capital, one of the world's top proprietary trading firms located in Midtown Manhattan and we're always looking for trading talent to hire and develop. And not just to trade in-house on our desk, but also to trade from their own home, entirely using our firm's capital. And we have numerous traders doing just that, allowing them to make upwards of seven figures trading the firm's capital without risking their own money. But to even get a shot at something like that, you need to have the right training. That's why we're doing a new free online presentation in which we share how you can get an interview with SMB to become an in-house or remote trader, trading firm capital without risking yours and gaining access to all of our firm's coaching and resources. And the best part, you don't have to be a profitable trader yet. In fact, we prefer to mold profitable traders with our methods and our techniques. That's why we have just three simple criteria that can earn anyone an interview. We're looking for highly ambitious and determined traders who fit our culture first and foremost. So if you believe that could be you, sign up for the free one hour online presentation by clicking the link that's in your top right corner of your screen now.